Hello and welcome to my videos and in today's video we are going to talk about type i framework which which we use to create website you using pure python so in last video we saw very basic ui components how to create them in type i in today's video we are going to talk about uh, some basic building blocks what are scenarios what are data nodes and what are what are tasks uh, in in type i so basically how to communicate between your view and your your backend or you can say how data pipeline works in type i and through core we are going to see how to per, how to uh, connect data points using code as well as we are going to see how to perform the same operation in type i studio that is extension in visual visual code uh, vs code studio so let's start with creating new project Okay, so let me create new folder. All right, so now what we need is I'm going to click on Control Shift P as I want to create virtual environment. I want to create v dot v e n v that is virtual environment for current work workspace. So I want Python three point ten point ten. So, so Visual Visual Studio Code is creating virtual environment for me. So let's wait for some time. Okay. So looks. Like so we have to install Type I. All right. So after installation, uh, we will create new Python file main.py and so first what we are going to do is we are going to create scenario so the type i scenario models pipeline execution think of it as an execution graph where tasks or function collaborate and exchange data so this is a normal scenario in any any application which deals with graphical user interface and which uh, which triggers some exchange of data uh, from true and fro from back end to front end so let's understand what exactly is the scenario so let's let's consider that i have one function i have one function build message which takes parameter as string and which returns hello is name okay this simple function so input parameter is string and it returns string with hello and that name the parameter that we pass so so my scenario here is i have one name that is data node name uh, it can be a input name where i am reading the value and on same ui i have another another uh, ui component where i am displaying that value okay so this is a simple scenario i have to read from one control ui component and i need to write it on another ui component so here what what uh, we have two data nodes one is input and one is output so from type i let's import config config and let's let's define our scenario so first is input input name data node configuration so suppose i have input input name html comp component configure data node so let's say uh, we are going to name that id as input name so we don't have yet we will declare it very soon so it will be like this so my ui component will look like this so let's say i have input name string type i and uh, my page looks like uh, as we have seen in previous uh, example i am using here markdown syntax input so this is input type and here i am accessing this variable name input name okay so this is how my page looks like and uh, we have function name equal to page dot run all right 
now second data node so let's uh, declare in gui so we have button submit submit button and this submit button has some action right so on action i'm going to call one function uh, i need to declare one method here submit let's say scenario and i need to declare this method here def submit scenario okay so for now let's keep it as it is okay let's come back to this data node yeah so now uh, we have our se second so this button have button is there and third line is message that we want to print so this is our output so this output is message variable so we have let's say message variable is none and this message we are uh, this message we are going to display here this is simple text okay so uh, this is how our page looks like so first we have input we are going to read a value and we are going to display here when when user clicks on this button so this is a simple scenario now uh, let's come back to our scenario so uh, we so we have uh, we are defining declaring scenario uh, for this action so let's declare output message node see configuration is config again same configuration configure data node as id equal to so the name of the id is this message the next part is we have to build we have to declare a task so for that we need one method in fact we already have that method build message but we need to bind it with this input and output so this is how we do it config configure so now we will choose configure task task it takes parameter uh, so first is name that is build message second is method build message which is we, uh, the one we declared here then it takes input data node that is input put name configuration and second is uh, output that is message data configuration so this way so this method we are passing uh, so we created one task with this method we are passing this input name data node config as a parameter and output will be written to message data node dot config now this task is declared the last part is we have to declare scenario so scenario config is again config dot configure uh, scenario and here we pass first scenario name that you can give whatever you want scenario and uh, we say task configs as build message config that's it so this way we have created our scenario uh, so now let's come here and so when user clicks what we need to do is uh, we have a state uh, so uh, let's uh, let's first of all create instance of uh, so scenario configuration is created but we need to we have to uh, uh, create this scenario object so and uh, to perform this uh, submit task we need core core instance so we have to run core so this is one of the components so just like just uh, for building gui we need this gui server and uh, for this backend task we need this core server running so we have to import it like this and here we need to now create scenario instance type dot scenario we have to create scenario let's import this create scenario so we have scenario configuration object ready this object we are going to pass the scenario object is created and now we are cool now this object we have to use here so the state object that we have will have this scenario and we are going to write this input name dot write state dot input name 
and state dot scenario dot submit and last part is we read this message and set that message into this message data node that is scenario dot message dot read all right so far so good let's run this so there is one syntax problem that we will fix quickly otherwise we are okay yeah here we forgot to add pipe uh, so let's run again and see so here default is type i it will print if i enter john doe and click on submit it will print john doe so and you can see here job is built and it is completed so for every click here submit we are performing uh, this whole task of submitting reading uh, from input writing it into uh, this input from state input we are writing it into scenario this is our kind of backend uh, we have repository object right so that kind of object and we are reading it back okay so state dot sub scenario dot submit makes sure that this object is committed and we are reading this object back so far so good so there is another way uh, that we can also use uh, we can make advantage of uh, this type i studio which is like gui based uh, which helps you to create gui based configuration so let's look at how to create gui based configuration we will take same example what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this type i configs and here I'm going to create new. Maybe I can give. Uh, so this is toml file. Okay, so I'm opening this. So it's completely blank, and on left hand side you will see data node, task, scenario, and details. So same thing that we have declared he over here. Okay, so here we uh, wrote Python code. Now this can be done similarly in this using this configuration so let's see how we can do it so here i'm going to click on plus button and i'm going to declare it as input name so you can see it came up here second name is message message data so i'll keep it as message so two data nodes created let's create a new task so task name in our case is build message so task is created and for that task when i clicked on this task you will see here in detail section it will it it has input output and function so so input the it requires function name input and output so we have to give these data nodes as input name and output is message okay so we'll again go back and we'll configure i will click here and it is automatically showing me so i must select this input name so it has updated then i'm going to create on output i have selected it i'm going to click on okay it, it has updated and next part is function uh, in, inside main i have this build message function it has updated and yeah so this part is done the next part is scenario config so here in scenario section i'm going to click here plus on plus icon i'm going to name this scenario as my scenario okay and this scenario here again you will see task here if i click i have this build message task displayed automatically i'm going to select it and click on okay so my scenario is created okay which so build message my scenario my scenario which with build message task and with two data node input name as an input and output as a message now i can go come here and i can delete this as we have uh, done this part through this toml file now we should be able to read this file here so we are going to use config dot load and name of the file is type i 
config toml yeah so our name type e, type i type i underscore config dot toml then run it okay now we need to read scenario scenario config equal to config dot config dot scenarios my scenario and then we will create from the scenario config so we are basically declaring our scenario config in this toml file which is represented as this graph now let's try to run this and see if our configuration is correct we should see the same result pp is not yeah so it's actually type i running let's see if yeah it's working as expected so this is how we use type i config editor uh, for building configuration you can also use this type i editor to build ui also that we'll see next uh, next video uh, using markdown uh, markdown editor markdown syntax so thanks for watching my video please like share subscribe thank you